This is Jed McKay, and you're listening to Into the Night, the Moon Knight podcast. Welcome back, Aluni listeners, listening to Into the Night, the Moon Knight podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Ray, and joining me as always, Rebecca. How are you going? I'm all right. I'm all right. Surviving. How are you doing? I haven't, uh, haven't seen you for a while, like the Captain America t-shirt. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, I've been okay. I'm a little bit worried as we speak here, Rebecca. There's a bit of a lag, uh, but I'm to just pretend that nothing happens and carry on. Um, yeah. But yeah, uh, other than that, no, I've been good. Um, my si- my, yeah, my sister, uh, she's just left back for Melbourne with her wow. little daughter. Uh, so they stayed with us for a couple fun. of weeks, which was – that was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was always good to have them over. So uh, we're going to be welcoming parents over soon in, I think, 10 days. So, yeah, busy, oh, wow. busy and fun household. Um, wow, and this is all before Christmas. Yeah, <laughs> we like been early, you know. Uh, but happy yourself. Yeah. Uh, I know that it's things have been, been a, a slog, really uh, crazy at work. Yeah. So, uh, mm. but I have a I have a week off soon, so building towards that. Excellent, excellent. Nice to recharge. I mean, as we record now, we've actually got a, a long weekend, um, so. Ooh. One of those kind of innocuous, like, Labor Day, you know, back in the 1920s, you know, Labor. <laughs> I don't know. Um, people working decided to call one day a public holiday, and it's carried on since. So, yeah. so It's for good. them. Um, good for them. Also, as well, just to put a bit of context, a bit of historic context, uh, Rebecca, <laughs> it's um <laughs> grand weekend here. In Australia, so uh, ah. the, the National Rugby League, it's all guns. Are, they're, they're playing as we speak. Uh, I, I don't even, I don't know because my team came dead last again this year. You, so, you don't, your team um, doesn't have much luck, I'm afraid. Yeah. No, we have the uh, unenviable title of what is it known as for? Last three years, so that's well. The only way is up, right? right? Uh, anyway, anyway. Well, that's what I keep on saying every year, but somehow we managed to outdo ourselves <laughs> again. <laughs> like, um, get this look. Sorry, sorry, listeners. Get this, Rebecca. I think one of the times we came last, right, out of a sixteen-team yeah. competition, and said, "Yeah, things that, um, can only go up." They added another team, seventeen teams now, and we came last again. <laughs> So it's like <laughs> we've actually gone worse this time. Oh my god! I mean, it was a challenge to get anyway, things can't uh, get worse, right? Uh, exactly, exactly. But anyway, listeners, we're not here to talk about sports. Uh, Rebecca no. and I, again, we are we are kind of catching up, so to speak, uh, with a couple of issues. Now, Rebecca, we are missing one other issue, which I hope we'll cover soon. It's the annual, but in this oh, yeah. instance. I'm going to look at, yeah, the, the big chunk, the Vengeance of the Moon Knight issue 9 and Phases of the Moon Knight issue 2, uh, half of that written by Jed McKay as well. Uh, so, yeah, looking forward to your thoughts, Rebecca. Um, I'm, I'm fresh off reading them as well. And, uh, yeah, yeah, looking forward to it. Uh, before that, of course, Rebecca, any any news that you may have picked up or may have perused uh, no but randomly in the pub yesterday people are asking me about uh whether moon knight 2 was coming with the moon knight season two oh coming. okay they they said they had heard rumors and i was like there's always rumors but then i have no idea now why why all of a sudden it sort of kicked off more so yeah that is weird isn't it it has kind of rebubbled to the surface i've seen articles and you know they're talking about Moon Knight in Secret Wars, uh, and then you know, is he got has he got a season two coming out? And it seems to kind of generate its own 
kind of uh yeah i mean I it seems groundswell. very plausible right uh so yeah who knows um i don't know i i get the sense i mean we also know that um i think we've mentioned this before that oscar isaac will be voicing moon knight in what in one of the newer mm. what if um i mean maybe that's what show, so that's Maybe that's oh okay. Well, I'm thinking maybe that's what's caused more more rumors. You know, mm, um, I mean that's true. I yeah, yeah. I the something in my gut tells me that Oscar Isaac's just happy to have done this complete kind of separate package that is Moon Knight um, for the MCU, and I, I think he's happy with that. Uh, but we'll see. Depends if you know if they come up with a good good enough story. Um, but yeah, I'd like to see him back again. Obviously. Um, but yeah, yeah, awesome. yeah. Uh, anyway, Rebecca, I think we do have a few. So we've got uh, as the two issues, as I mentioned, Phases of the Moon Knight has two re uh, two stories within that. So, uh, are you up for making Let's a journey to do some moonshine reviews? Let's do yeah. it. Okay, so I've got a um, for the watching the video a slightly confusing cover because a, a backdrop is the cover as well. <laughs> but um, yeah. I really like this cover, Rebecca. I don't know about you, but I, quite I like this was it. Really yeah, cool. it's, it's kind of yeah. looks like he's been put on ice or something, which makes me laugh a bit. But yeah, I just like it. <laughs> yeah, it, it's got I don't know. It has this to me this sense of like. Some energy coming from from the bottom. I'm assuming it's meant to be the shrouds, Eben, and oh, yeah, dark, dark yeah. force energy. Yeah, dark force, from, yeah. Night, but, yeah, but it really. Uh, if we go to so this issue, Vengeance of the Moon Knight issue nine is the killing of Moon Knight, and uh, yeah, writer Jed McKay. We've got a different artist. I, who I think Rebecca have. Uh, have they done it? The name Semi looks I think familiar. So, yeah. Seems There's familiar. Melia Kramanik. Yeah. 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 Really cool art. Uh, Rochelle Rosenberg, VCs Corey Pettit. Uh, the artist was David Paratore. And there's a uh, a Godzilla cover by Torin Clark. So yeah. go hunt that down. This is funny. A uh, pretty big Godzilla fan. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's a, of course, yeah, Devin Lewis, who's been taking the reins for some while now. Yeah, now, I Rebecca, I, I guess, well. yeah, yeah. Well, I thought in, in a nutshell, like, how would you kind of summarize what really happened in this issue? And, and what did you, what did you make of it? Um, well, how would I summarize it with full spoilers? Moon Knight. Full spoilers, of course. Sorry. Yes. Yes. Full spoilers. Mark gets around Conshu's demand that he kill the false Moon Knight by doing the mm-hmm. old your heart stopped and we had to resurrect you but that's yeah i mean um, what, yeah i mean that, that's basically it um it uh, i don't know i mean it's a very letter of the law thing which seems fine but like usually yeah i mean it's fine it's fine it it tidies up a loose end <laughs> It ties up a loose yeah. end. I like how it was done. Uh, I, like, I mean, I did like the comic generally. I like Mark's conversation with Max. I liked Conchu being demanding. I like Mark trying not to obey Conchu again, being a bit more smart about it. Uh, I loved all the stuff about how he made this deal to save Reese's life. Um, like that coming back, mm-hmm. that this was, but then also the reminders of Conchu that. You also owe them for for getting you out of this prison. I mean, I I thought it was interesting. Mm-hmm. I I mean, I thought the whole I don't know if it needed tidying up, but the the fact that it was done and we get this sort of new status between Mark and Conchu, where I mean, it's not new new. There's a little bit of antagonistic uh, mm-hmm. respect there. Um, I liked Mark in the bar with no name. That was great. Sort of. Oh yeah. 
Yeah. I think it does go back to themes from the very early stage of the run, which is about sort mm -hmm. of what people think about you and what people believe about you is as important as the actual fact. So, you know, like when we said, like, Stained Glass Scarlet mm. has become this kind of mythological figure now, which then, so, like, the idea that pinning the Shroud Moon Knight suit to the wall in the bar with no name is effectively killing him. I, I like that. Mm. So I like that more than I like necessarily the sort of putting things out, putting the cards in order to make it happen. Uh, oh, okay. I like yeah, that yeah. theme that, like, you know, like, if people believe that's Moon Knight, then that is Moon Knight, whether it is or not. So yeah. I thought that was kind of an interesting um, thing. Yeah, that, that was a, uh, that's an interesting kind of point that you raise as well. I hadn't considered that. There, there definitely was... I mean, I think what Jed does best, and I'm sure we've said this over and over again, is not every issue that he does right, but um, there are certain stories that he does where the the concept of the story is is really simple. Like, it, there's nothing really much to it, right? Uh, and as you said, as you pointed out, and you summarised it, it was the old, you know, I got a, a technicality you know, to kill him, um, but it stopped his heart. You, you know, we've seen that before. I think what Jed does, he does it really well. Uh, I think he he wraps it around some really great interactions between the characters. And as you say, uh, he touches upon themes um, through their conversations that yeah. kind of um, are thematic. And, and yeah, there was that. Let me just go through it. I'm going to flick through it. We, we, for the video, we do have some visuals. I'm not going to go through. Uh, we aren't going to go through every single page. But there was... Um, the the chat with the shroud. Um, uh, I found it really cool. I mean, number one, I think the cool thing about this was the shroud had pretty much given up, right? And then mm -hmm. Mark is still yeah. held back on killing him. And so as a reader, you're going, "Wow, you know, where's his kind of empathy? Like he's pretty full on, right? But he obviously yeah. has a plan. That. Um, yeah. He wants, he can't, he cannot escape Conchu, so he has to satiate." Conchu's, you know, wishes or whatever. Um, so he's got this plan, but on the outside, on the when he's talking to the Shroud, it's like, wow, he's been really tough on him. He's he's, he's yeah, out there yeah. to kill him. Um, and then you see that thing where it's a nice shot at towards uh, the whole. Uh, I've got to say, the artwork is bloody brilliant. I like, but really panelling. Um, well. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. Oh, the panelling is awesome. It's very innovative. I like yeah. this bit uh, against. The visuals, yeah, it's where nice. it's very kind of he's actually strangling him, and it's that you get that kind of sense. I don't know, even in the cinemas where it kind of goes slowly closer and closer, and you're seeing the life being strangled yeah. out of the guy. Uh, and then a great hero shot here. Um, Hunter's Moon on top of an excavator of all things. I love that, yeah, uh, but it's that. done, brother. He's he's, he's dead. But, yeah, I, I've got to backtrack a bit. I've got to say, yeah, Rebecca, the art here I was really happy with. Um, yeah. Oh, look at that. I don't know. It, to me, there's almost in a – yeah, yeah. There's almost – with Moon Knight's cape, there's almost this stylistic – and I don't want to get people up the wrong way or not, but, mm -hmm. um, you know, Frank Miller with Sin City, like that, you know, that kind of style – uh, I don't know with, with the lines. Like if you look here in the bottom left, yeah, the, yeah, the, I mean, uh, and yeah, it happens yeah, again it's... with the cape. It's just the lining, um, just a very, a very slight influence, I reckon, from that. But it just makes it look so cool. Um, mm. But everything on a whole, I think, just looks really good. Uh, I'm gonna have to sorry refer back to. Uh, I apologize. The name of the artist. Oh. Uh... Uh, uh, yeah, um, it's uh, Pre Pre oh, I don't want to do it, do it any wrong. No, I don't want to. Uh, yeah, Pramanic. Um, Devmalia Pramanic. Yeah. yeah. To Devmalia Pramanic, I think it has done an amazing job. The the use of the negative space here, and we talk about it with Declan Shalvey's and uh, Alessandro Capuccio's use, you know, it's nothing new, but like it still looks so cool. It reminded me of Shalvey in some respects. Mm -hmm. as well uh so uh and reminded yeah. me of oh gosh uh ibrahim Musta musafa oh uh, yeah. I, I think yeah that's his name. uh 
Yeah, from the Marvel Comics Presents with Benjamin Percy. This kind of almost like painted, yeah, kind of paint all, painted look. Um, but really impressed with the art. I don't know if you, you felt the same. No, I was, I was, I thought it was really nice. The only thing I didn't like was Reese's hair and face there. In fact, on that exact page that you just stopped on. If, but just generally, I just don't think Reese looked very oh. good. Oh yeah, wrist. Yeah, she looked a bit. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm. Yeah, yeah. I'd but, agree. Uh, yeah, everything uh, else I really I'd... like. So maybe it's just a thing. It's just a thing. Do you know what I mean? It's just not a big deal. That as well. Even that, just a thing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, but even this small interaction with Reese with Mister Knight, I think was great. So Jed again, a master of like just these small interactions. You know, this this is a bit of relief, like they're having a bit of relief, like Mr. Mm -hmm. Knight um, fixing someone's uh, sink. Like, you know, he protects them all in, in, in any way. Uh, I thought that was really, really cool. Uh, but then what really struck me was he had this apparition with, with Khonshu while he's talking to Reese, and Reese's um, vocals yeah. are kind of muted as he kind of I just thought it was really distracted well done. and he starts talking yeah. to Khonshu. Mm, yeah. Uh, but then I thought, oh my gosh, like it, I, I kind of totally forgot the premise a bit, you know. And I know that he was marked to get um, to get the shroud. Yeah, but it's here, like he almost alludes to, I want you to get, you know, want you to, to hurt someone you love, like Reese. It's like, oh, okay, mm. that's not good. Um, but again, as you say, uh, the, the the layouts are quite innovative. I think uh, I just very I was like, you know, me, kinetic. I love like when the people mess with it and. Just the difference I mean, it can make, but in the same way, yeah, sometimes, something different. Right? Sometimes, right, it's very not where it's very yeah. nine panel. It's really interesting as well. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. But over here, like, there's this one particular page here with Moon Knight and Hunter's Moon running on the rooftops. You literally can just have static, like one, two, three, four, five, six panels. Right. Mm -hmm. You could have like the top panel, the three panel, and the two horizontal kind of panels at the bottom. But I think by mixing it up. Um, dramatics really, yeah, made it a nice. You kind of you can feel yourself running with them, um, uh, you know, as they go across. And then he changes it, or they change it. It's just like, yeah, now you got inset panels within, you know, over it's just panels. Really cool. uh, I, I just yeah, like really... people play with it. I just like it being played with. I guess very, yeah, yeah it's very kind of um, great. Again, Rochelle Rosenberg. Look at the colors here. Again, green. I love how then she we get the red kind of when he so meets up with the to whoever's doing the art. Like yeah. it's not exactly the same. Yeah. As 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 she. As, it isn't, you know, is it? With every, yeah, it's just really interesting. It's a very yeah very we're very lucky to have uh, Rochelle Rosenberg on uh, Moon Knight for yeah, so long yeah. as well. Um, but yeah, th this interaction with uh, the shroud was quite was quite cool. I thought, I mean, this was a bit of badass kickery from the real Moon Knight taking on pseudo. Yeah, Moon Knight. Uh, I did feel a little bit for for Max because I do like the shroud. Um, yeah, but he's just a little bit lost, of course. Uh, but he's bit, fine. I mean, he actually he put up fine. a bit of a fight. But Mark, I mean, I was thinking he's, he's given up. It's fine. Well, it's fine. Yeah, in the end, so, I mean. Yeah, yeah, you're right. He's kind of like he's, he's stopped his ways, which is good. Yeah. Again, I've got to call out the, the layouts here. We've gone from static to um to like angular to this is that we're introducing curves now to to the layouts. So yeah, very interesting. That's really um, cool, right? That's got that kind choices. of um eye of yeah. Ra corner. Yeah, yeah, it's so interesting to have a look at these layouts. Page to page, it shifts every page. Um, but yeah, Moon Knight is easy work uh, with it. Now, this is all angled as well. Like, you know, everything is tilted 30 degrees, what is 45, 60 degrees? I don't know what you got from whichever re reference it's not, point. It's not quite 45, is it? Um, it's like, so again, everything. No, not 45, 60. I'd say 60 degrees, something like that. 60, maybe. Anyway, I would say like, <laughs> I've like got to 15. take out a, a, a protractor. I'd say like 15. But, uh, I don't think it's like, that's not many degrees. 15? It's oh, not uh, many degrees. Well, I mean, from the, you go from from the horizontal right. x axis up. You don't the... go from horizontal, you go hey? from vertical. You go yeah. from vertical, so it's it's not oh, that okay. many. 
Well, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, then, then it's not that many from the <laughs> uh, But again, puts us off kilter, out of kilt. Um, you know, now we're kind of like looking a little bit tilted at this this fight, but Moon Knight's definitely ahead of it. Uh, and, of course, Jed's got to address the, the Dark Force energy, right? Like it's... Why doesn't he just use it to beat Moon Knight? But there's a reason for that. And nothing since the, the what the blood hunt thing. Oh, I hadn't followed it. Rebecca, did you? Is there something there that I missed? Maybe with with the shroud, was he affected by what I, happened? Was he I don't, by a vampire? Don't, I didn't read all of it. I don't really know. Hmm. Mm. Yeah. But um, yeah, and that yeah leads up to even more shenanigans with the paneling. Um, there, this one actually, I really loved it holistically. I kind of lost lost um, track of it, like you know, yeah. you meant to kind of follow the the panels as it goes down. I kind of lost what was happening, just just as a lot of just I like, did a fun. little bit, yeah. Um, but I like it because I like I just like yeah. that it feels very kinetic. Um, yeah, yeah. Even if I and then again a, a big shift. <laughs> um. But yeah, another shift here, and it, I notice a different style with mm -hmm. the shading, like with Mister Knight. Um, it seemed like, uh, yeah, style wise, it was a little bit different. But I loved what he did, as you said. He pinned up the shroud, the alt, yeah. the pseudo moon. Sorry, really. But, when he explains it right at the end, I was like, yeah, that is this theme that Jed is very interested in. So, mm. yeah, it's it's very cool, and and it's. Look at all these rogues. You get there's Rhino there, <laughs> yeah. Um, and then I can see. I think it's a Constrictor, a Sandman. I think it's a White Rabbit. No, no, maybe uh, I don't even know. Um, Mysterio, but uh, they all kind of just look on Avalanche in the background. So there's a fair, fair few big. Yeah, they they just want to have a pint, drinks. Rebecca. Yeah, they just want to have a pint. Yeah, exactly. You just you just hope the rhino doesn't break the seal, so to speak. You know, um, yeah. how do you get out of that suit? Um, but uh, yeah, but then we get the explanation at the end, um, and yeah, really good. And, and again, it wasn't. I don't know. Were you were you shocked when when Moon Knight killed the Shroud, or were you expecting some of this to happen? Not well, this this reveal at the end. I read it a little bit late, and I did see mm. someone say that it was a fake out. So I was expecting oh, okay. a cleverer okay. fake out than this fake out, yeah. but I wasn't not expecting okay. it. So, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, it it was it was good. I think it was a neat way to kind of round things out. And yeah, I think it's safe to say. I don't know. I think the shroud maybe is a big enough character not to. I mean, everyone dies in the comics, but um. Everyone you wouldn't does. want like Moon Knight to be so cold blooded and just full on killed him. So mm -hmm. was that? Yeah. No, I said I was just laughing at the way you said it. Um, ah. <laughs> uh, and then yeah, I mean, and then finally, again, we we come back to. Is this the last issue of Vengeance, Rebecca? It is, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Because uh, I thought, yeah, obviously, because we come back to the, again, to the chair. Uh, but it's not Conchu now um, at the back, the statue. It's actually Moon Knight. He's got himself a statue this. of himself. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Is so that th not, that's kind of like a heralding. Is that not what they did uh, when he was missing, a.k.a. dead? Oh, uh, maybe. I, I yeah, don't I may not have picked know. it up back then. I just have a feeling that. Yeah. Maybe that's, but I don't. I don't remember. Someone will tell us, right? I, yeah, someone will. Yeah, pull us up on it as well. It, it seems. I mean, I'll, I'll probably open it up after we finish talking, but I don't really remember. Yeah. But. <laughs> but I mean, it means it, it seems appropriate here at the end. Of this title, yeah. maybe like this changing of a guard, like Moon Knight's back. I don't know, but we'll see. You, yeah, you're probably right. Um, but yeah, that was pretty cool. Like. Uh, um, what did you make overall 
of um of this one, Vengeance of the, Vengeance of the Moon Knight issue. I nine. enjoyed that. I just it it was tidying up something I'd kind of forgotten about. Like as as we know, when I did my review of eight, I was like, "What do you mean yeah. he has to kill Moon Knight?" And then uh, it became obvious because like Blood Hunt and stuff like that. And yeah. I read Jed's note at the end, which was interesting, um, saying that you know this this was all yeah. when he was working out that Blood Hunt would actually tie up with some stuff he wanted to do in Moon Knight quite well, but Blood Hunt made me kind of forget about the Shroud mm -hmm. um, a little bit. But no, I, I liked it. That was good. Good ending. Ready for the next one. Cool. Um, well, I mean, if we give it like a, a market. Yeah, so it, it leads us into the Fist of Moon Knight, Fist of Conchu, sorry. Um, so that comes out Again, as we're recording now in about a week. So, again, the the Moon Knight tap is ever-flowing. So that's great. Yeah. But, yeah, out of uh, – what would you give this out of uh, Moon rating-wise? Um, eight. There's my random – Yep. My random one, eight. Let's do it. <laughs> Just plucked out of uh... – <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I, I would agree with you. I think I think the art really ramped it up for me as well. I agree. Um and the like art, I said, the art was everything really I said at the beginning, nice. the concept was it's a standout. I mean, and we're lucky to have Capuccio as an artist as well, yet we have someone who's filling in for Manic and, mm -hmm. and this is a standard. It's pretty good. Uh but as I said, like the, the concept is simple, but I, I just love how Jed invests in in the characters and just what, what they say. Like it's not it's not driving a an intricate kind of plot, but it, it just reveals more of people's character and, and development, and I just love that. So, um, mm -hmm. yeah, I'll give it an eight as well. I think uh, it was a very strong final issue. Uh, look, some people may be, as you mentioned, Rebecca may have said, oh, it's a fake out. Um, people may have been disappointed in that, but, I mean, you know, he did kill him, smart like, smart but it's just, yeah, it's just, it was a little bit, a tiny bit flat, but it worked still. Yeah, it's a smart play, but yeah, as you say, like, yeah, it is flat. I mean, it's kind of like, okay, well, you know, mm. we've seen that kind of happen. But yeah, I thought it was really good. Um, but there you go. Uh, listeners, that would wrap up Vengeance of the Moon Knight. Now, Rebecca and I are heading towards yeah. the second issue of Fate of the Moon Knight. Uh, let mm. me put this one up on the thing here. This is pretty cool. We've got Jed again. Um, yeah. and we, these, I thought this was a great kind of contrast, Rebecca, these two stories, we'll get into it. We have a classic tale and then we have, I'm just going to call it a pseudo Hickman kind of futuristic. Yeah. Which is tale. what it was. <laughs> yeah. But I think it was way better, um, than, than Hickman's, I'm sorry to say. Um, but from Declan Shelby. So yeah, in phase of the moon, not previously we got, um, Benjamin Percy, and we got Erica Schultz, of course, mm -hmm. uh, with the first two, which was was great. Um, so over here, as I mentioned, night time in the city, Jen McKay and Jorge Fornes, uh, oh, another I fantastic love artist. Love his art. Yeah, and Lee Luffridge as well. I mean, Lee Luffridge has mm -hmm. been around the traps too. Yeah. And Eclipsus uh, by Declan Shelby. It uh, Messias, Messias, and uh, Yen Nitro is the co color artist. Yeah, awesome name, Yen Nitro. Sounds like a I super mean, villain, Rebecca. <laughs> it's a little bit Yen Nitro. Yeah, that's very good. <laughs> uh, but okay, so Rebecca, I threw you in um, to the lines then with the first one with the the summary. Uh, how about I'll do I'll do the first yeah. first one summary. Uh, do you want to do the second one summary? And then uh, we yes. can talk about first impressions. So yeah. Nighttime in the City is basically Jed McKay's, again, spoiler filled, is Jed, Mc Jed McKay's love letter uh, to Doug Mensch, I think, and Bill Sin and Sinkevich. Yeah, that's pretty much a love letter uh, at it, the it end. It is of it. very much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, but it was just fantastically done. For anyone that has read, you know, the, the 80s comic, the early 80s comic, read the magazines, uh, the Hulk magazines with Moon Knight, you kind of get a sense of what this is. 
Anyway, Red so Marvel it includes a, a classic, classic. Red, oh, Red Marvel UK, yes, of course, yes. yes. It is digging, again, signature Jed, digging into a classic, classic character. Night Raven, I think that was the name. Um, very classic pulpy hero, anti-hero. And anyway, Moon Knight somehow catches up with him. Uh, he's, he's a serial killer killing surgeons and such. And we get a, I, I, get a, I guess, a, a little bit of a history in, in Night Raven, but also the parallels between Night Raven and Moon Knight. Uh, all done whilst they fight um, and Moon Knight is in pursuit. So that's night time in the city. Uh, but Rebecca, how about Eclipsis? Uh, I don't even know how to explain it. Here we go. Uh... <laughs> Oh, my God, sorry, I can't read it from your screen. I have to look up. Wow. I, like, uh... um, I don't know how to expl how to summarize it. Um, it's futuristic. It's about the followers of Moon Knight in the future and how he um, now they kind of want to sacrifice him. And because of the eclipse is coming, and so it'll be like lots of night. I don't know. I don't know. I I don't have a strong feeling for this one, so it's hard for me to yeah. summarize off the cuff. Okay, unless you need the summary in the comic, but there wasn't is, really one, was there? No, no, nah, not really. But was it? I I maybe mistook it. Um, eclipse, was it like like the end of the moon? Like not only just an eclipse, or maybe I it was think an so, eclipse maybe. for a long I of don't time, know. But... I I felt yeah a little bit like I felt about Hickman's tour. I know I I kind of turn off a bit when I think yeah. Shelby a little bit. Um, but yes, maybe that's what it's yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, the end of yeah. the moon, the final eclipse. Yeah, what it was it the, moon, like. the final eclipse. <laughs> and as you say, Rebecca, I think Walter Conshu, they have this grand idea that. Yeah, Moon Knight has to be um, killed, or sacrificed, sorry, um, for this. Uh, and we get introduced to this futuristic Moon Knight soul. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, and there are little kind of tidbits, uh, like futuristic things, like he's in like suspended animation or something, and he's being repaired upon, and it's like the computer saying, you're 16, you need... 16 more hours to, to fully repair and he's asked stuff that you know, i'm going to go out still and, and, and fight yeah. so there's all that sort of stuff um i didn't really understand uh, it would be interesting to know anyway sorry before we get into that though rebecca so um overall impressions for the first one for you loved it i just loved yeah, it yeah yeah the art's incredible the um yeah. the story i thought i mean i love night raven like um mm. i love having frenchie back even if it's just for this yes um yeah i think it's an interesting question of morality and consequences but um one that you don't get very often in comics mm. because you can't you can't do this kind of like oh i didn't kill this person so all these are it's just the comics can't sustain that because then yeah. these people would be kind of I either turn into serial killers or just yeah. be frozen in. Um, like I like it leaves us without a conclusion for Mark. Like, what's he going to do? Um, like, they're kind of discussing, mm. is he going to kill the guy? Um, but kind of yeah, maybe implies he is. But um, I love seeing Grant Manor again. I mean... It's a lot of stuff we've we've not had for a long time, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, yeah, I just loved it. The colors amazing. Yeah. Um, going for that old sort of the colors are great tones yeah. and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. e even like again, just showing up some visuals. Even this title splash page mm -hmm. is something straight from the eighties. It's corny, you know, nighttime in the city with all the different kind of fonts and uh you know it, it just reeks of that and yeah and then you got and this I, classic, I always love yeah, a little joke got this... like nighttime in the city 
like you know, like Silent Night. They're all yeah, they're all exactly. fun, right? All the sort of little plays on yeah. there. Yeah, it's always fun. Yeah, all tongue in cheek. Um, but the artist, yeah, Jorge um, Fornes really captures the classic looking Moon Knight here. Yeah. Like even like the pose and obviously the costumes, but yeah, everything reeks of this is like you know classic volume one stuff. And you're right, I think the 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 themes here again. I mean, they're not you associate them with with other things you've seen, but this whole thing about you know what 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 does um it goes with Spider Man and Batman where they say, oh look, you know if you let that villain go, if you go put him in jail, he'll just go out again and commit more uh, more crimes. So. You know, this is what's happening here. So the Night Raven had let one of the surgeons go that was doing devious things. And so over the years, he sustained himself. Uh, he killed all the other, the other ones and he left this one surgeon alive. Biggest mistake, biggest kind of albatross on but, his neck. But it's so like, spends, it's, a, it's yeah. just like he's, that, it's like his interpretation of it is that, that that's yeah. allowed all these other people to do it. You know, I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's tricky. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, it's tricky. Like he's, um, it's kind of like almost that preemptive. Um, but I do think it's another, people. another little look at like mental health of superheroes. Like, how much do you let that be? Mm, yeah. Do you know. Yes. Uh, showing us that you know the the superheroes that we classify as having mental health issues is maybe. Mm should maybe be wider like they all kind of and that's another jed thing about yeah. like how does that sort of heroism like impact yes. you mentally yeah no th yeah these are i mean it's great like issues bubbling under the surface here that jed really kind of touches upon and it's uh yeah it's amazing and, and the thing is like you said a lot of things i really loved because a lot of things were left up in the air here like uh tracking actually even forward towards the end where Night Raven shows his face and you get that almost seven moment where mm -hmm. you don't see anything. You're just left to contemplate what is Moon Knight looking at and he because he just goes, oh, good Lord. And again, you get that almost like newspaper quality um, mm -hmm. with the pages because you can see the texture and the flex and stuff. But it's, it's that sort of thing um, where things are left up in the air uh, and – um, yeah, yeah. He, he, as I said, he um, he wanted to follow through the decades, killing these people associated with this, this surgeon. But again, you're wondering. He makes mention of these, these battles and dates that are in, the, you know, in the twenties. So, like, mm -hmm. how is he still alive? And there's also this other thing about Moon Knight going. This is really cool. And at the beginning, he goes, "I hit you," almost out of like. Um, kind of surprised just going why aren't you falling down like he goes hit you why won't you why won't you stay down so even moon knight is wondering what is it with this guy and we never know Like we never know unless you know i mean rebecca unless you know can you tell me more about Night? Raven? i know he's he got a very and... very scarred he's very scarred um okay oh okay so that's and yeah. do i know i mean it's a long time since i've read night raven um always known for wearing his mask yeah um i think he was quite long lived but not mm -hmm. like that kind of he has healing but right. he's immune to he's immune to drugs maybe okay yeah yeah no apparently he it is implied he... that he can't die and he's immortal oh. um wow yeah and yeah and he's just super it seems super strong and durable I mean, that's, he's strong, he's yeah. healing, and I think he's immune to some chemicals, but I don't remember which or entirely why. Okay. And, um, but I remember, you know, coming up reading Night Raven, he was, he was better than Batman. He was, he was the, the kick ass character. Really? He'd want yeah. to be. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, I love hearing. Rebecca. I know you no, love hearing like that word. Tees, but... <laughs> Not that word, no. <laughs> that is better then. Um, and and he he did the did he do the branding thing? Is that is that on point? 
Oh, I don't remember. Is that the Jed I thing? don't. I'm, I'm okay. guessing it probably is knowing yeah. Jed, and also yeah. because that's got that tie into when uh, Mark did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ex- that's what exactly what I was thinking of like, when yeah. he was showing it. I'm thinking, uh, Moon Knight. Uh, he does the same thing, yeah. <laughs> or, or he's going to do the same thing. That's that sort of stuff. But I, uh, yeah, I absolutely love this as well. I thought it was just, um, yeah. At everything that you'd love about volume one, uh, for those really purest fans that have never deviated from this street level Moon Knight, and you know, oh, there's too much Egyptian stuff and too much DID stuff, mm-hmm. this really does kind of sing to that kind of, um, just yeah, just bare bones yeah. street level. I'm chasing a criminal. Um, yeah, yeah. Let's go it's, get it. It's in. just cool. But there's a, but there's, yeah. But there's like something a little bit off. Like you know, he's fighting, yeah, like Commodore. It's a Commodore planet. So someone's weird. Yeah, so yeah. he always ends up with someone weird. Um, he he um, does. So, yeah, yeah great. And does. the up, uh, yeah. <laughs> like he, he gets stuck. Well, he does most of the time. But you know, he gets stuck with a guy who has hundreds of pet rats. You know, <laughs> he um. <laughs> yeah, he's got uh, what's his name, he Morpheus. Does, yeah, uh, yeah, some, he does guy. get a lot of uh, yeah, a lot of weirdos. He gets the worst luck. Uh, but even this page here, Rebecca, look at this. You could pretty much say this is from the nineteen eighties, can't you? Can't it's you? Like, even the um, yeah, the the uh, sound effects, and again, it's just the the, the texture and and the inking uh, really does look like classic mm-hmm. stuff. So, yeah, uh, they've done a really nice job. Yeah. Yeah, before we go into the next one to talk about that uh, a little bit more, should we give a rating for this? Uh, I give it a nine. You, I loved it. What did you make of? Uh, mm, yeah, yeah. I, I, not just following you. I totally agree. I, this out of the the two reads for for this episode, Rick, I think yeah, this stand is out for me. For everything, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I just yeah. Yeah, um, it's just really nice. And Frenchy, even with his Frenchy Moon Knight hat, pilot hat. I mean, I like that. Just, I like his it's got Frenchy everything. Moody hat. So, uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, so yeah, I'd give it a nine as well. It's a very strong uh, issue in, in this two part, um, whatever you call it. Mm-hmm. Um, so now, Rebecca, we jump to Eclipsis, the year. Two twenty-eight forty-six. I think it's to say, Rebecca, I you and I will that, not be around when. This um, year... No, but it's like that. <laughs> that is a caption that will always turn me off a little bit. The year twenty-eight was. I'm like, I just don't care. Oh. Like, okay, let's go for it. Like, why not? It, it, it... Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, that was the first thing I saw. That I was thinking Hickman straight away. Um, but I, I thought, thought the art oh, here was go. quite nice as well. No, I think the art's great. <laughs> I think it's an interesting idea. I just, yeah. I have too many issues with like this kind of level of futurism, like that the city yeah, still looks sure. like a city. Um, like, yeah. will our whole world will be like doomed to climate change by then? <laughs> like, you know, um, and it's very, yeah, yeah, in yeah. some way a very optimistic view. But I do think that I think it's interesting. I. I do agree it made more sense than the Hickman one, despite me not being able to summarize it. Yeah. Um, yeah. The art is great. The art is truly great. The art is really good. Um, and I don't think I yeah. did fully understand it. Like, I'll have to read it a few times, but it's it mm. is definitely not my favorite of the things I read this week. Yeah. I think for me, it kind of is the same level of curiosity as if we if we had like a past like um you, you may differ as well but if we had a moon of the past like a moon knight of the i don't know the roman era or something well like um, last time when we had for it me, the it, night, it, i like that one was the yeah. crusader okay yeah yeah, yeah. okay yeah um, for me that they're chalk and cheese like the future obviously the future and the past but I think that for me they they're kind of on the same level of that I curiosity. That. I say, yeah. uh, it is fun. Yeah, it is fun to see. Um, I want to know. I just wanted to know more about this. This. Uh, I think that's the problem I have with the futuristic ones is that where they're good, mm. you want to know more about them, and you absolutely yeah. know 
you will never see them again. With the historical ones, uh, I, I can just shrug it off yeah. as, oh, that was a past incarnation, and I just move on. Like, with the future one, I'm like going, I could True. hear more about uh, this, and, I, and I'm not going to. Uh, I did it. like the costume. I liked all the costumes. Yeah, stuff. no, no, absolutely. I, yeah, they make mention here, um, what was it, even at the beginning, like, um, let me I can see if I can read it. I can't. Even in the pathetic form, what remains of the human soul held together by synthetic bandages. So it's like, oh, I'm wondering, what is it? Is he a zombie? Like, what is going I on? I know. You cool? see, that's where we that's, never know, right? We, we that's never kind know. of where it distanced me. I'm like, I don't know what you're trying to say he is and yeah. why he'd still be around and why would Conchu still be around and where are all the other gods and things like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I totally agree. I mean, well, I thought Conchu, like, with all the other deities, I'd assume like like it would be eternal yeah. or at least for the lifespan for, for the for earth. The but moon. um Which yeah, I, I just felt it. yeah, was, yeah. Yeah, exactly. But uh, yeah, I just felt oh I really would have a bit of a missed opportunity maybe to flesh out that character a bit more. Yeah. I like the I like the idea of the cult of Conchu because uh, we have heard of them uh for yeah. long time yeah. night fans. Yeah, you would be familiar with uh, Mar Marvel Comics Presents. I think it's thirty one, thirty two, uh, mm. which had plasma and conchu. And then you see them again in Mark Spector Moon Knight. I think issue twenty five. I'm going to say with Howard Mackey. Mm -hmm. um, you see the cult of conchu as well. So they come back uh, over and over again. And I think also yeah, Rebecca. I do like that. I'm just like, interested why they have become popular yeah. all of a sudden. So I that's the that's the thing is like, I have all these mm. questions. Like why would they suddenly become popular? Yeah. Um, like I don't mind yeah. it, it's cool, but I want to know why. So I think that's what you're saying. Yeah. It's not just the character. I want to know how this I wonder how yeah. the world got to that point. And like um yeah. unlike uh some things where you can see how the world could get to that point, this one has a lot of questions. Like why would people yeah. suddenly want to, you know, not suddenly, why would people want to join the cult of yeah. it, it just asks a lot of questions that I'm interested in, I guess. Yeah, look, I, I totally, I totally see where you're coming from, and I think, like, I think that is kind of like the, um, the pros and cons, right, of of telling a futuristic story. Yeah, but because I also you think can... that I, I also think that I am a little bit. I, yeah. I, I'm, I fully admit that I'm a little bit biased, and I see Shalvi, and I'm a little bit yeah, more fair enough than most people, which is is unfair, oh no, absolutely, and it's a very personal thing, and I love his Moon Knight work usually. So but, it is. I appreciate it's yeah. unfair. So, yeah. well, that's it. I mean, we're only here, Rebecca, to talk about you know you your yeah. and my view. So, it, however, it is affected. I mean, that's all. It's all valid. Yeah, but um, I'm just saying. I know. But, yeah, that what it I was affected. So, <laughs> yeah. No, fair enough. No. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, what I was kind of alluding to as well. Yeah, the, the pros and cons is that because um, it's so far in the distance, right? Twenty eight forty six. You can really just go to town with what happens. Yeah, right? You can make yeah. huge leaps and, and put these things in. But the, the problem is, the con is that you either just leave it out there and just hope that the readers will just take it on board or you try and explain everything, like and why things have developed over heavy, you know, yeah. 800 years. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So uh, I think that's a, a problem with most futuristic like tales. Um, but, yeah, I, I did find that this was this – was Cool. I thought it was cool, but yeah, I did find myself wanting to know more about Soul. I just thought that was um like with the stuff with the cult of Conchu, I thought, uh, okay, how did they get to be where they are? But okay, I'm just gonna assume that you know, yeah, for some reason yeah. they've kind of come into the forefront. Um, so the th there's some things your brain can kind of like take on board, others it yeah, can yeah, go and it's exactly it that. Yeah. Um yeah. But again, I mean, going back to the artwork, the artwork was really beautiful. Uh, again, that the the costumes are sold with the bandages. It's um, very nice. very yeah. lead, like leading into the the moment locations and all that. So, mm -hmm. um, but then you get this kind of juxtaposition of because it just mentions I think just there it is it just one of these early pages. It talks about a sarcophagus, like very old school, right? And then you get flipped to this, which is like is in some sort of cryogenic 
futuristic yeah, yeah. energy bubble. <laughs> so it's like, oh, so this is the futuristic sarcophagus. That's awesome. Oh, yeah, sarco sarcophagus deactivated. So I thought that was a really fun, like, mishmash that Shelby did to, like, a new take on the old themes. Um but then, yeah, I, I thought this was, I thought was, this was just pretty cool. Like this whole vulnerability thing, like, oh, you're not ready. Like it's a kind of thing like with Tony Stark, Rebecca and Iron Man, the suit is only at percent capacity. Ah, oh, stop it. Let's take on these baddies, you know? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I yeah. I think uh, this was very much the same. Yeah, like you're, you're injured. You can't possibly, ah, oh, I've got to do it. I'm a hero. So off he goes. Um and yeah, I thought this was really cool. The color code, they're all cawing, like caw, caw. <laughs> uh, it's kind of make it a little bit freaky, a little bit like Ultron, Ultron esque, I thought. But, yeah, um, and it's also, know, to again, me, it's also a reminder that Konshu has that bird skull every time I see birds generally. Yes, yeah. Yeah, so that's, I mean, that's very, very cool. A nice little touch there as well. We get a little play here. A little play with the layouts as we go further yeah, on is yeah. starting to shift. Like it. uh, it, it's really weird. It's it's not as kind of progressive. Yeah, but I, no. I, think, I don't think it is as progressive as Manix, um, because it just no, I changes don't. from static to far. Yeah, but um, but it's still pretty interesting. Uh, I love the fact that this reminded me of Aliens. Rebecca just when oh yeah, yeah when yeah. Ripley hits the button yeah. <laughs> and. The queen goes flying into space. Uh, Sol does fun. the same thing, but he takes out all the cold country with him. Yeah, and that was yeah, no, that was was quite cool. I mean, he's almost almost had it like a death wish. Um, but then then they land on the the moon or something, and then they still keep on fighting. <laughs> like I I thought that was the end. I thought that was the end, but obviously that's not enough to kill them by being ejected into deep space. Um, yeah, so yeah, a little bit more. Cool, like some cool images. I love it how he slashes with staff or whatever, mm -hmm. and get, kind of get the crescent moon. Uh, and then, and then yeah, yeah, that's really cool, Rebecca. You're right, it's, it seems like it's an eclipse, yeah. So I think it's yeah. like the moon's not going away. I think there might be like a long time. I, that, I'm yeah. very confused about that, and, and I'm yeah, just confused about why they want to, yeah. It's I, there's a few things, but generally, like, it. yeah, that was a little bit confusing, right? Yeah, yeah. So, and and then on top of that, right? So if this lunar eclipse, if it is, this is eclipse. If it's a lunar eclipse, how come it powers Moon Knight's soul back up? It's it's now it's like life. Is it life uh, signs at acceptable levels? And then Conchie talks about how you know where travel is. It, is the it not just the moon blocking the sun? I think it's the moon blocking the sun. Okay. Okay. So it's it's a solar eclipse, not a lunar I eclipse. Think but then so, the, the moon the is still there, though. It. Like they, they were, yeah, yeah. But they were talking about going away. So I don't understand. I don't like really what's understand happening. what is yeah. going. Maybe I lied. I do like, not understand. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, listeners, please, um, you know, call me tell out. Tell us what idiots explain. From it. what I thought, yeah, tell us what idiots, please, because from what I gathered. The moon was going away, whatever. So that's why they had to sacrifice Moon Knight. And then this eclipse happens with, I'm assuming, well, Rebecca, as you wrote, that's the sun, but something to do with the moon. But that powers Moon Knight now. Like, yeah, is there another? Because is there a second eclipse? Anyway, let us know. <laughs> yeah. 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 Exactly. Maybe he gets killed uh, and then he goes uh, off into yeah, space. We get, we get a lot and of then Conchu grabs him. And they're also getting confused by his name being Sol, which okay. would be like Sun. So, like, that the annoyed sun. me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, every, every time he called him <laughs> Sol, it's like, he's talking to the sun or is he talking to this moon knight? And if he's talking to this moon knight, why is the moon knight's name Sol? Like, um, yeah. but anyway. Yeah. Actually, I think I got it, Rebecca. I think maybe you're right. I think. Oh, I don't know. No, maybe I haven't. I think he did die, and I think Conchu brought him back. I think that's the yeah, whole idea. You were happened, yeah. reborn by the Forever Knight. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the sun was eclipsed, which actually powers up all yeah, the, the moon of the night. Okay. Yeah. The moon. Right. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, that was a bit of 
Um, what do you? I know that this wasn't your favorite, but what would you give this Eclipses by Shelby? And um, oh, I forgot. Look, uh, it's Jorge. unfair it right? because corners, I think yeah. the art's really good, and I don't think it's bad oh, story. Right. Yeah, yeah. But I think I'm yeah six point five because I didn't understand 6. it. Six point five. Clearly. Okay. Yeah. Why do you think I was going to go yes. worse? Yes, uh, AJ Messias. Yeah. Oh. No, because I think the art's okay. great, and I think on the Ooh. whole, I enjoyed the vibes yeah. of it. I just clearly didn't get it. Like, yeah. I didn't understand it, and then that means there was a problem yeah. with it for me, so. Yeah. I tend to... What are you giving it, matey? I tend to think... Uh, I was thinking about a seven, maybe a little bit more. Yeah, because I, I, I almost really did... went seven, so... Uh, but you're right. I mean, it's a... Yeah, but I, I'm, I'm with you. Like a lot of future, I'm now thinking about it, a lot of futuristic stories. That's why I hardly ever read 2099 titles. I wasn't really yeah. into them. Um, I, I've, I've but yeah, a lot of the futuristic them, ones. So. Yeah, there are a lot of questions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think maybe a, a, a seven is pretty decent. The art was great. Um, Ida Macias, uh, I think did a really great job. Uh, the the design of Soul Moon Knight is pretty cool. Yeah. Um, as well as the Cult of Conchu. Uh, but yeah, there, there's always this level of what is going on in the future. Yeah. Future six stories. And why? Uh, why is I, it so hard to but make I think it understandable? <laughs> like I just I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but I, I mean, I did really enjoy it. I, I think Shelby does, um, you know, as a writer, he's, you know, he started out as an artist. I like, do like I the vibes well for it, as though, a writer. There's a vibe yeah. thing, yeah. Hmm. Like. Yeah. Um, so yeah, interesting to see if it will if it will gain traction. Uh, if the look of Moon Knight generally, that's you know, remember Arachnite, Rebecca, oh, that really Arachnite, got popular, please. didn't it? People yeah, really more yeah. Arachnite. And if I was doing these, there'd be more Arachnite. <laughs> I we love him. Yeah. How cool is that? Like just one issue and kind mm. of uh, it kind of spawned a, a Funko Pop and and everything. So uh, you never know. It so maybe Soul will get his one issue, wasn't it? Wasn't there? Was it? There was, oh, I, I can't. There was like no, a was mini it? Oh yeah, maybe with, two or three or something. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he was only yeah, the okay. focus of one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, um, yeah, it's a 6.75 average for this yeah. uh, this last one between Rebecca I think that's and fair. myself. Uh, the, yeah, it's fair. The um, yeah. the next issue looks pretty cool, Rebecca. What's going I on love here? the look of uh, the, uh, the, uh, the Sailor Moon Moon Knight. Yes, come on, we've needed it for a long time. I cannot. Yeah, I mean, there's that link. Right, so, it's going to be amazing. Um, I don't know. I can't. I can't wait, and I have no idea what what the other one at the back is. Is like almost like a no, but that looks group great. Moon Knight or something. I don't know. He looks like uh, green yeah. Moon Knight. Yeah, who knows? It's gonna be amazing. Green Moon Knight, the 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 off moon. Um, yeah, but yeah, there you go, listeners. Uh, I think let me have a, a quick little. It was that much by way of uh, group stuff. Uh, responses. I think Mario did send something in. Uh, let me just double check for a minute if you don't mind. No, Here we go. Know. Where are my groups? Here. I should have prepared this earlier. But anyway, these are quote, quotation marks. This is feedback. Is there nothing, Rebecca? I thought there was. Your internet is probably know. quicker than, than mine. Oh, um, I, I didn't look. I don't know why mine is so slow let me tonight. Have a quick then. Uh, no. I'm having a look. I don't want no, it's all right. Uh, waiting for you. <laughs> yeah, I'll just... uh, into the night. Let's have a quick look. Okay, uh, sorry. No, yeah, no. You, you, I mean, you'd be waiting, but it's this is this is all. I don't um, think there is anything, and if there is, okay. I'm, I am Here sure. We go. That Mar have you got one? It's a lot of posts. Uh, about I thought I did. I thought I in the, in the Facebook um, group. Apologies. It's just it's okay. Oh, second. Well, okay. Apologies then. If, oh, if no, there is, I then Rebecca and I will. I've got them. I've got them. Rebecca and I will call it up. I'm going to um, read them out, Ray, because I found them. Okay. Okay. So 
This is for Vengeance of the Moon Knight 9. Um, Lena says, mm -hmm. I loved how Mark managed to follow the technical letter of the law concerning Conchu's demand to kill the false Moon Knight while still managing to save Max Coleridge. Although I will admit that, yes, Jed fooled me too at first. And of course, I really love the scene of Mark telling Conchu off at the end of the issue. I'm not concerned with what you want, old bird. And that last page was a great yeah, kickoff yeah. to the upcoming new series. I also like the letter from Jed at the back of the book explaining his thoughts about killing Moon Knight. I do think that Moon Knight 30 was one of the most well-written superhero deaths I've seen in a while. Overall, I re really like this issue. Uh, 9 out of 10. Looking cool. forward to the new series and hoping we'll get to see more of Jake and Stephen as well as Mark. Then Mario... Nice. Giacomo says, for an issue that's mostly a fight scene, I have no complaints really. Mark follows his boss's orders but does not sacrifice his ideals. For a hot second, I thought the end game would be Conchu resurrecting Max as a fist. It would be his style. His favourite bits, Moon Knight, the plumber of Conchu. Yeah, I love that as well. We didn't actually know, mention that. That's hilarious. <laughs> Who knew Mark was handy around the yeah. house before? Uh, Mark staking his territory at the bar yeah. with no name. <laughs> And of course, long live Moon Knight. Bring on the new series. P.S. Is it me or are there an awful lot of Spider Man villains at the bar this time? Um, and Lena said, seems there's yeah, always a yeah, lot of Spider Man were. villains at the bar. He does have quite a gallery of villains, um, including a lot of B and C listers. <laughs> Lucas Marvel said, they had me. I thought Ma that, Mark that's... murdered Max. Mark murdered Max is a bit of a tongue twister, I have to say. I was incredibly <laughs> uncomfortable with it. It was so visceral and dirty. Really loved they fooled us mm. all and full Conchu. So just a few comments, but good, good range, right? Good range. Yeah, uh, and great range. Yeah. That was great. Now, thank yeah. you so much for... Yeah, thank you so much for dropping it in. Thanks, uh, Rebecca, for pulling those up. Yeah, they, they're great. It's good to, hear, good to see that a few people were kind of thrown by... That very tense scene, of yeah, Mark just yeah, strangling. Like the I said, I was Max. I was yeah. tipped off, so I mine isn't. Right yeah, there. yeah, yeah. So, um, like, uh, yeah. I don't want anyone to think I'm saying that I was really smart and got it. I didn't. I was just like happened to no. um, see it in passing on yeah, Twitter no. or on the Facebook group. But um, yeah, no, absolutely. And uh, right, the Spidey's Road Gallery. There's just too many of them, so they've got to do There's something. There's too many of off, them, right? um, yeah. <laughs> they're just, they're just going to hang they, around they have like while else to do. Doing, yeah. Exactly. Like while Tombstone's fighting Spidey, the others are just going to hang around. Um, you know, mm -hmm. and then when Constrictor fights Spidey, they just have to hang around. It's all that kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, everyone has to um, keep out the way, right? I love so, it. Now, thank you so much, everybody. Exactly. Exactly. Um, it's, it's in order, you know. When, you, when yeah. you're a villain, you do everything in order. Um, no, thank you so much, everyone. Uh, Rebecca, I think that pretty much wraps us for this episode. I'm very happy with it. We we do still have the Moon Knight Annual to go through, uh, and it looks like we'll have uh, Fist of Conchu coming out very soon as well. So we've got to yeah. stay on our toes for that one. Yeah, we'll be better. Yeah, we'll get there. Uh, as always, yeah, oh, we'll get there. We we are getting there, which is great, and I'm glad to see that there's so many loonies so keen on just this this avalanche of Moon Knight stuff. Um, I know I it's incredible, Rebecca right? And, I... and we, we've got even more coming. And yeah. uh, I'm looking forward to the new one. I'm really looking forward to Vista Conchu. I'm really yeah. looking forward to his ease about things that people didn't pick up on. So. We will, uh, yeah, yeah, stuff. me too. And, and, and again, like, apologies, Rebecca and I haven't been as frequent as we like to, but you know, it's just the moment at the you know, we're both uh busy with, with schedules, so uh, it's just hard to tee things up. But we we certainly do love reconvening and chatting, chatting yes. Moon Knight, uh, with everyone and and hearing your results as well, uh, your feedback as well. Uh, Rebecca, before we go, Spectacle, anything you'd like to give a shout out to? You finished up with the DCU. That's done, right? Yeah, well, we've finished up for now. We're, we're possibly going to come back and do yes. uh, the the other Watchmen and whatever else. We did the first Watchmen. Um, nice. So, yeah, we'll yeah. see. 
But for now, that's it. Yeah, I haven't been doing anything. Yeah, cool. <laughs> nice. Go to the theatre a lot and love cinema. <laughs> so. <gasps> so are you playing Diablo as well? Is that? I just bought it because I got, I got a Steam Deck, so ah. I'm just learning my new Steam Deck nice. stuff. So yeah, uh, yeah. No, I'm having a good time cool. with it, and you're busy with family, which is lovely. Um, yeah, busy with family, um, but uh, we'll be releasing. I've still got a, uh, I've got an episode of Predator and Prey up my sleeve. I've got a release as well, so that will be coming out around the same time the episode comes out, which is pretty cool. Um, we look at Russell and I look at the Cold War. It was a Dark Horse Predator series, and you know, I've been whinging and complaining about it for so long. So you'll get to see. Our review of it. Um, yeah, some <laughs> some of the results may surprise you. Uh, yeah, and um, yeah, and yeah, that that's about it, um, uh, listeners. Uh, it's been fantastic as well. Let us know what you think. I uh, want to hear hear more of you mm -hmm. uh, about these issues on Discord or on or any of our social media platforms. But Rebecca, as always, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you. Yes, it's been really nice to catch up as well. So. And uh, we'll yeah. do it again. Always. And we'll absolutely do it again. And always loonies, as we always say, may Conchu watch over the denizens of the night. Catch you later. Bye.